happy. Hello. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Come. Oh, that's so long. They missed you. They did. They did. They missed you more than they missed me. Did you? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Bye, puppy. No? Okay. Now she wants attention. Hey? You didn't want to come down before. You just want to go out. You just want to sneak over the fence. Hmm? Okay. Hey, guys. Um. Bye. Ooh. Did not mean to kick the tripod just then. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you all about um so hey guys i wanted to talk to you all about some series today uh i'm really bad at finishing series like i will read like the first book or maybe even the first two books and then like never read the third that's pretty much like a standard thing for me <laughs> Um, so I wanted to talk to you all about some, I'm literally just repeating myself at this point, <laughs> I wanted to talk about some series that I would really like to finish in the next coming months. I'd like, um, or even some ones that I'd like to start. Um, I wish that I could finish these all by the end of the year. But I am mindful that it is already the 24th of November as I'm filming this. And I haven't started. Well, I've started like one of these. So it's probably not going to happen. But yeah, um, it would be nice that I could do it in the first couple of months of 2017. Obviously there are a lot of series out there, but these are a few that I own. Um, that I really want to read at the moment. Um, obviously, this changes all the time. So, we'll start with the one that I have uh, started, which is The Far Seekers by Isabel Carmody. This is the second book in the Over Newton Chronicles. I read the first one like a week ago and I loved it. I only owned the first two, um, so I started this one yesterday. And, um, yeah, I have the rest of them on hold at the library, so I'm hoping that I can sort of, like, blitz through this series. Um, I'm only 22 pages into this one at the moment, but like I said, I started yesterday. And, uh, after I finish filming this video, I'm just gonna read as much of this as possible. I would love to finish this um, this week. Uh, I'm babysitting tonight um, but the kids go to bed at like 7.30 so <laughs> the parents don't get home for a while. I will probably take this with me and read some of this. Probably another book in case I finish this too. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Should we stick with the theme of, like, a lot of these are fantasy. Um, let's stick with the theme of, like, Aussie fantasy. I have these two, which are middle grade. Um, the Ma Master of the Books and The Book from Bathe and Dark by James Maloney. I read the first book, The Book of Lies, earlier this year and loved it. Um, so I really want to read this. I lied. I've also started this one. I'm 55 pages in. But that was a couple of months back. Um, yeah, I'd just really like to finish this. This is one that I would like to finish this year. Um, so yes, maybe I'll even take this one with me tonight. Depending on how far I get into the fast because Yay. Awesome. Uh, next Aussie fantasy one I have is Den of Wolves by Juliette Marillier. I read... This is the final book in the Black Thorn and Grim trilogy. I read the first two um, in the last three or so months. 
Um, and I really like the first one, the second one kind of fell flat for me. But this one seems more up my alley again. Um, the second one just wasn't my kind of thing. But I love the characters, so I can't wait to read this one. I also got sent this one by Pan Macmillan, so I would really like to finish it this year so that I can send them a review. Yeah. And then I have Arcane by Lynette Noni. Um, this is book one in the Midorian Chronicles. Um, one of my very good friends, Millicent Nankivell. I just love her name. I just I can't even just call her Millicent now. I have to put her last name in there because it's so awesome. Um, she really likes this series, and I trust her opinion. Um, so I I want to start this too. And this is probably one that's going to be put on the back burner for next year because it is the first book in a series, and I feel like I should finish some before I start this. And then. Uh, you saw these two in my September-October book haul, uh, which is the Trial by Fire and Firewalker by Josephine Angelini, book one and book two in this series. Um, yeah, I'd just really like to start these two, and um, I might even ask for the third book for Christmas. Um, obviously, I will read the first book first to see whether I like it or not. Uh, but as I mentioned in that book haul, my friend Eddie, who was the one that gave me these books, and also my friend Angel both really like this series. Um, and I trust both of them in their opinion, again. So, yes. I am very, very excited for these. And then finally, this is one I never thought that I would read. Um, but I studied it in class. Um, I studied the show in class. And I really liked it. And there were some people um, in my class that talked about how there's sort of like this, like it's a it's a trashy book, but there's a deeper meaning to it if you want to find it. And that is Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris, the first book in the True Blood series. Um, yeah, so I loved the series, the TV show, because of Eric, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna give this a go, see whether I like it or not. I bought this second hand, so I'm not too bothered, it, it was like a dollar, I'm not too bothered if I don't end up loving it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So there we go. That's some of the series that ah, they all just fell. That I would, I would like to finish slash continue slash start in the next couple of months. Let me know if you've read any of these, what you thought of them, and yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I will see you all. Next time, I've got some very exciting videos planned uh, for the future. So I will see you all then. <laughs>